Good morning. It is Sunday, February 3rd. I uh, got up this morning, got ready, and I'm heading to the uh, the prayer group before church again. Uh, this week I'm going to be like 15, 20 minutes late, but I learned last week that's fine. And uh, so uh, it's a lot more grace with getting there. Uh, so arrive and have some wonderful time in prayer before heading into church. John the Baptist sends his followers. He's heard all these stories about what Jesus is doing. He's confused. And so John the Baptist, who knows exactly who Jesus is, he says, help me. I don't get what you're doing. Did I make a mistake? Should we just look for somebody else? Because this isn't how I thought it was going to go down. Your ministry, Jesus. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. So Jesus has a reply to John's disciples. Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight. The lame walk. Those who have leprosy are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. And the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed are you if you don't get offended by me. I'm not doing it how you're doing it, John. I'm not doing what you're doing. I'm not doing how. It looks totally different than your ministry. You're blessed if you don't get offended by how I'm doing or what I'm doing. You're blessed, John. My cousin. My family. It's not what you would do, how you would do. Don't be offended. Because you're a mighty man of God. It's not looking like what you painted in your own mind. And when I read this, I think so much of me. And how I feel is so much that happens to my friends, to my family, to my world. I'm thinking, God, what are you doing? This isn't how I thought it was going to be. Potentially. Potentially, John the Baptist had an opportunity to grow offended with Jesus. How can this be happening to me, John the Baptist? Why are things happening to me? I need to be out there. When are things going to change? When is Rome going to get booted? When are you going to overthrow the Pharisees and the Sadducees? And Jesus sends a message to his cousin. Don't be offended. Don't be offended by what you perceive. God's at work. And he's doing something not the way you would do it. Will you trust him? Big picture. Will you trust him? John the Baptist was sappy to camp with no tent. He's happy to be smelling of camel man. Doesn't care. He's got unkempt crazy hair. He's got grasshoppers sticking out his mouth. He's unbending. John the Baptist is unbending, unyielding. And he selects his disciples just like him. You want to go to the Marines? Sign up with John the Baptist. No cozy, cushy stuff here, baby. It's hardcore gospel. We're going into the bush, and we're going to kill some bad guys who might be religious. <laughs> they're rough, they're tough, they're untaught. They are disciplined. Really disciplined, John the Baptist followers. And he hears about Jesus, and he hears these things about Jesus, his cousin. Jesus is healing on the Sabbath. He's doing work on the Sabbath. Jesus opening volley, the first miracle, first miracle. Jesus attends a wedding. And you know the story probably. They run out of wine. And Jesus says, we're just going to take care of that. Changes 120 to 180 gallons. Everybody say gallons. 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 Of water into wine. Guess who hears about the party? John the Baptist. It's offending John just to hear a what? A, a wedding? And you gave him more? What? Dude, cuz. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and he hears, John the Baptist hears, Jesus is touching dead people. You can't do that. Don't do that. That's not good. 
He touches unclean people. Don't, no, 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 no. And he, John the Baptist, he, he really struggles with religious people. And he hears Jesus is hanging out with sinful people. Sinful people. John the Baptist is like, wow. Oh, Jesus is eating at their house. These are unclean people. They're sinners. Jesus is hanging out with all these sinful people. He's healing Romans. Roman people. Roman. Bad people. The guys we went out and you're healing them? You're eating with cheaters and frauds and known disreputable people. Wow, no. He goes to this guy's house named Simon the leper. You know, one of his disciples comes to John the Baptist. Yeah, there's this guy, Simon the leper. And Jesus went to his house. And Jesus is checking his disciples. Are you sure? Simon the leper? And the other guy, no, no, no. It was Simon the leaper. He's got a flag ministry at church and dancing. He's part of the mind troop. You know, I'm pretty sure it was Simon the leaper, not Simon the leper. Because we don't do that. Church thing. Church dance troupe. Oh, okay, that's cool. John the Baptist is so struggling. He's so struggling, he sends his disciples to say, did I miss it? Honestly, did I miss it? Because if I missed it, if you're not the one, it's okay. We'll look for somebody else, Jesus. It's okay. Just tell me, because I don't, I don't want all my people that I've already said that's the guy to keep thinking that's the guy because this isn't matching up with what my Bible says. Lord, that's, that's not how I would do it. I'm struggling. And for us, so often we see things, whether it's on TV or media, maybe even church and other churches, and it just things happen that just offend me. Anybody else like that? Okay, just two, three. Okay, a couple more over here. And I know you don't do this because you're Christians. <laughs> but I have in the past judged a few people. Inside only. I did. I'm bad. Naughty. I so struggle with some of the things that I see. I don't, most stuff I just don't understand. How can you do that and say that? Back in the day, it was a, a wildly famous, popular Christian evangelist. He had gold taps on his hut cold in his bathroom in an air-conditioned gold dog house for his dog. You know, people's money, people's tithes, people's generosity. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, oh. And it's so easy to judge. So easy to bring accusation. So easy to say, God, why would you bless them like that? If that's what they're going to do with your finance. I just find the Lord asked me to do a couple really simple things. You don't know everything, Tom. That's point number one. What? <laughs> Get thee behind me. I'm talking to God. <laughs> that voice ain't right. <laughs> Tom, you're not that smart. No. I know. I know. Oh, oh. Pains. <clears throat> You're not that smart, Tom, and I might be able to do some things through some people that you wouldn't do them through. Amen. It's good. Yeah. Amen. It hurts. <laughs> You're not that smart, Tom. Could you just do this? Could you just trust me? Could you just love me? And whenever you see those offensive things in other people, can you just love them? Can you just speak well of them? Can you just bless them with your mouth? You wouldn't do it that way. But clearly, God is. Can I not be a judgment factory? Spewing my personal opinion. Can you just trust me? Because if one of the things I found out about God, about knowing Him, I'm not Him. <laughs> And he's asked me to trust him. Tom, will you love people? Will you love God? Will you set your judgments down? What offends you? What you don't understand? Will you choose kindness? Will you choose a generous heart? 
and at least in part, the message today was uh, sort of the, the idea of looking at how God does things and saying like, uh, well, that's not the way I would have done it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, I've, <laughs> God is definitely wiser than me. So I'm going to have to, to trust him on things. But yeah, I, I'm like, oh man, I think that all the time. Like, really? All right, sure, I'll trust you on it. <laughs> Would have done it a little different. But, <laughs> but it was a fun message. And um, Pastor Tom's been on a mission trip the last couple of weeks. And it was it was nice to have him back. Uh, now, uh, you know, talk to Mom and Mike. And uh, we're headed to Texas Roadhouse. Uh, gotta get a bite to eat. Having some, some bread and butter while I'm hanging out with mom, waiting for people to show up. Uh, enjoying the music, I forgot about that. The food's always eh, but I like the music. And that was a fun, probably, couple of hours. Hung out with, um, uh, with one of the people that actually went on the mission trip with the pastor. Had lunch with them, uh, you know, whatever, got salad and burger and such. It was fine, but uh, got to hear some stories. Uh, they just got back from uh, from India, so it was fun. Fun to hear all about that and just catch up with, uh, with some folks from church. So now it's a nice, lovely day out. Almost up to 70 degrees. I'm gonna head home. And I got home and decided what I was gonna work on right away was filming. I just filmed another one of the uh, world building videos. I got a little rambly, but I think I got all the information across. I might be able to cut a little bit of that out in editing. We'll see. But uh, you know what? Talked about, you know, building, building or not having to build, uh, you know, planar structures beyond the material plane. Uh, so, bit of a out there concept, but one that's, you know, key to Dungeons and Dragons, so decided to cover that now. Um, yeah, so I got that recorded. Man, it was a lot of talking. I, I settled the room back down, got footage importing and such. Sitting here, listening to, well, listen to a bunch of country music and such, and just trying to well, I don't know if I'd say trying to relax or trying not to. Uh, just today, and really for the last week, but today's been... Since getting home and just sitting around a couple hours, I got, like, emotion. I don't know. Brains running wild. Highs and lows. Hopes and worries and just... I need to just settle in and pray. More, I think. What it is, it's just... Emotion. <laughs> Mind preoccupied. Thinking about things. I don't know. Hopeful and worried. <laughs> but, um, but it does, it leaves me in quite a fog, quite, my head's just a buzzing, it's hard to accomplish much, hard to, can't focus. Everybody plays the fool, sometimes, all the pretty girls like you are taking baby, I've been looking for someone like you to save me. I'm feeling better. Uh, it took a couple of hours. I got like a, a document of music that I've logged with uh, Shazam. I went through that and, and, and like I have like goals of like making lists of music and that'll come up someday. But you know, I'm just working on that kind of stuff and it just leaves me sitting here listening to music for a couple of hours and not trying to do anything else. Like I'm working on my music list stuff. Um, and so I'm really just focusing, singing, crying, whatever. Just getting into that. And after a couple of hours, feeling a lot better, head a lot clearer. 
feeling better. That was good. But yeah, I'd worked myself into a funk overthinking things. Without reason. As one does when overthinks things. Without reason is typically the case. But still, you know, I don't know. I'm sure I'm not the only person whose brain just does that. Just like, <laughs> let's make a big deal about nothing. Whatever. Time carries on, we'll see. Still not sure how much I'm gonna get done tonight, but feeling better about it at least. And I made some pancakes for dinner. I may try and do a little bit more editing before going to bed, but otherwise, not too long, I'm gonna be heading to bed. So I figure I'll say thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues.